Hello everyone, welcome you all to my YouTube channel. This channel is for physics as CSE, high school level, and every time I'm coming here with a new video based on physics. If till now you have not subscribed my channel, subscribe my channel to now itself. Like my video, it will feel it is helpful for you and give your comment in the comment section. So today discuss a new topic where we will able to know about some safety devices used in electric circuit and how we can save our electrical appliances from the electrical damage. Safety use of electricity. Whenever we are using electric current, electric current having a great use. Electric energy in modern world changing into different form of energy. But to whenever we are using electric current, electric current may cause damage. That is due to overloading. Overloading means when it will uh, exceed its safe limit or short circuit when light and neutral will touch to each other. Save our appliances from this electrical damage by using some safety devices. This part of our video is able to discuss or will discuss different devices used in an electric circuit to protect the appliances from this electrical damage. Safety devices are used in electric circuit to prevent accident due to wrong correction, faulty design, overloading or short circuit. And these devices are designed to break the circuit when current exceeds a particular value that is called safe limit. So all the appliances have been their safe limit when the current exceeds the safe limit to protect the devices we are using electrical uh, in our electric circuit we are using certain devices which are uh, the safeguard for our electrical appliances we can say or with the safety devices in the safety devices we are having use miniature circuit breaker or mcb and circuit breaker so one by one we'll discuss in our video about the safety use of electricity so when we'll come to the first one that is fuge you might have seen this fuge. Fuse is an electrical uh, used in our electric circuit to protect our appliance from overloading and short circuit. Or simply you can say whenever current exceeds the safe limit, whenever we'll get excess amount of current, that more amount of current will go to the R to save our appliances. Electric fuse uh, used in our Electric circuit, electric circuit is a closed path through which current is coming from one part to another. So, by the use of electric fuse, it will save our appliances to be damaged. So, because excess amount of current will come, or more than the safe limit if the current will come, the electrical appliances may damage. So, to protect them, we are using electric fuse. And electric fuse is work on the heating effect of current. So, what you can say the heating effect of current? With the passage of electric current, if it will produce heat, that effect is called heating effect of current. Means, whenever current is flowing through this fuse, it will produce heat. And this heat again depends upon three factors. One is current, second is resistance and third is time. And this rule, uh, heating effect of current given by Joule. So, it is Joule's law of heating effect where H equal to I square RT. This fuse, whenever current will come through the fuse, it will uh, exceed the safe limit, then it will produce heat, and because of which the fuse wet inside this fuse will melt, and because of which this uh, circuit will break and will not allow the current to pass. So, what type of material you can use for fuse? Here, whenever we have to make the fuse wet, here you can see the fuse wet or uh, very thinner wet use, and fuse wet mainly using it inside the fuse so that whenever the current will come more than the safe limit at that time this fuse wear will melt and protect our appliances from overloading and short circuit so when you come to material of fuse an alloy of lead and tin sn and pb used to match this fuse wear why we are using this alloy why not copper aluminium silver this type of conductor because Fuse wear having some characteristic, some property. First one, its melting point is low. Means whenever current will come inside the fuse wear, it will produce heat more, so it will melt soon. 
so that other electrical appliances can be safe. Second one, it has higher resistance. More the resistance, more heat will produce. So because of which, uh, fuse will melt to save the appliance. But if we are using any conductor like copper, aluminium, or silver, these two characteristics will not get in that all conductors. First, it is having low melting point, but copper, aluminium, silver are having high melting point. It has higher resistance, but copper, aluminium, silver like metals are having low resistance. So that is the reason that we are using an alloy of lead and tin to get the characteristics to get the property on the fuse wire so that easily it will melt and it will protect our appliance from overloading and short circuit. And two type of fuse here you can see. One is normal fuse. It is used as the main fuse and sometimes it is used in the distribution board or in our room. Another one the catrice type fuse where you will get a thinner rod, thinner wire which is hair line where just use a fuse wire. And this fuse wear work in that condition when current will exit to a particular limit and for every board for our domestic supply main fuse near the main switch are keeping the main fuse which is of 5 ampere, 10 ampere or 15 ampere when the current will come more than that then heat will produce and that heat because of the heat this fuse will melt and when the fuse will melt it will stop the flow of current to the circuit which will save our appliances from overloading or any electrical damage. So another one used in our domestic circuit is MCB. Nowadays in modern world in modern wiring, we all are using MCB miniature circuit breaker and in this miniature circuit breaker the work is same the purpose is same like fuse this one also used to protect our uh, electric circuit from over current or overloading and short circuit means in fuse and MCB one major difference is fuse having a wear is called fuse wear but in case of MCB we are not using any wear in this that if there is any problem in our electric circuit suddenly by its own it will switch off it will come down and after the repairing of all the fault then only we will able to switch on and it will do the response timing means in how much time fuse and MCB will work. Fuse will work a very low time, it's correct, but MCB will take very, very less time in compared to fuse. So for that reason in modern world we are using MCB. Let to come some advantage of MCB over fuse. So when you come to the advantage of this MCB, first one, MCB is more sensitive to current than fuse means. Whenever fuse and MCB both are safeguard, both are used to save our appliances. But if we compare MCB and fuse, then in MCB is more sensitive to current, means it detects little bit more current and it will switch off by its own. Means when MCB is switched off, it will stop the current flow to the circuit and we can save our electrical appliances. When we come to the second advantage, in case of MCB, the faulty tone of electrical circuit can be easily identified. How we able to know? Because whenever there is any problem, it will switch off by looking at the switch off position of MCB. We will able to know that there is certain problem in our uh, domestic circuit or in our circuit. In case of fuse, when fuse will melt and current stop, we have to first check all the part and we will go to the fuse, we will take out the fuse and we will look if it is melt or not. So it is taking some time to find out the fault. So, but in case of MCB, it will uh, switch off by looking at the switch of MCB will able to know there is certain problem. Third one, in case when you will take the MCB, MCB, it is very simple, very easy to resume the supply of current because whenever MCB is off, it will go for the fault, it will able to solve the fault and it will switch on over. But in case of fuse, once the fuse will melt, you have to bring a new fuse well. Again, you have to replace that, then we will put the fuse. Means, if each time fuse will melt, we, have, we need a new fuse. Well. But in case of MCB, once we will switch off, after repairing, we can switch on by only the pressing the switch. Next one, it will come to the advantage. Handling MCB is electrically safer than handling a fuse. Because in case of MCB, we are not touching to any electrical part. 
Only thing we are doing that we will switch on. But in case of fuse, we have to change the fuse wear. Means there is a chance because fuse wear is connected as a life wear. So there is a chance that current filling conductor and the person may come in contact. For that reason, MCB is safe in compared to fuse. And in this another one, MCB is usable, hence it is that it has less maintenance and replacement cost. Means because in MCB there is no change of any fuse wear anywhere. So once one time investment is the MCB. After that, only switch off and switch on. But in case of fuse, each time fuse will melt, we need new fuse wear. For that reason, in modern world, in modern wearing, we are using MCB in place of fuse. Another one device also used to protect electrical uh, appliances from electrical damage that is circuit breaker. In circuit breaker, we are using another effect of current. So here we will get a circuit breaker. Circuit breaker is an automatic switch like MCB. It switch off or cut off the current in a circuit if it rises the specified value. Specified value means the safe limit. High current flows then whenever high current will flow through the circuit the coil or the magnetic field in the coil become very very strong. This is the use of magnetic effect of current. Magnetic effect of current means whenever current will flow through a circuit it produces magnetic field around it. So when there is a high flow of current through the circuit the magnetic field in the coil becomes strong and when magnetic field becomes very very strong it will behave like an electromagnet and it pulls the iron towards it. Once the iron piece will pull towards it, that time the it will create a gap and once the gap creates, means no current will uh, flow after the contact open, means it will move. So once it will move means there is no flow of current and then after the repairing we have to reset the button close the contact again then only circuit will uh, close and again the current will flow means here once electric current is exceeding its particular limit the magnetic power or magnetic strength of that particular electromagnet will become strong which will pull which will break the circuit but this one very rarely used in a domestic circuit it work with the magnetic effect of current so one we got fuse where heating effect of current MCB and circuit breaker it is a magnetic effect of current means with the uh, increase in current when it will exceed the our uh, safe limit or a specific value that circuit will break and once the circuit break there is no flow of current it will save our appliances so next in this will come to the safety rule means whenever we are using electrical appliance what are the rules to be followed so that we will not get any fatal shock because uh, sometime uh, in our domestic circuit we are getting the shock so what we will do that we will not get any shock first thing all electrical wire must be properly insulated means in our home we will look wherever the electrical wire used it is having an insulating cover that may be of white color black color or any other color we are given a cover Sometimes the life and neutral where it is having when it is having the joint of two wire, we are giving a cap that may be a different color again, black, red, or any other color. We are giving insulating cap. So if we we'll touch to that part, we will not get any shock. So all the electrical wire must be properly insulated. And fuse must always be in place because and fuse that to life wire. Because life wire is the actual flow of current. Life wire is the higher potential. So fuse must always be placed to the life wire so that if there is any current to the electric circuit or to the domestic circuit to the our home more than the safe limit fuse will melt or fuse or in place of fuse we can use MCB or circuit breaker also which will work to save our electrical appliance. Electrical outlet should never be overloaded means how much the capacity of that particular outlet means any electrical appliance we are using that all are having a safe limit. You can calculate by the power and uh, potential difference. So how much the safe limit it should not exceed it. If it will exceed, then overloading condition will come, which may cause electrical fire. And 
Another one, all wearing and measured must be properly art. In our domestic circuit, we are using three wear life, neutral and art. So art layer is used to protect all the electrical gadgets, electrical appliances in our household circuit. Means if there is any wrong, then it will go to the art. So uh, our household wearing must be properly art. And where without insulation must never be used electric circuit and art thing means art thing without insulation we can keep but other one like light wear or neutral wear all should be properly um, insulated and every time to look if we are having the inside wearing or outside wearing we are using the pipe and inside the pipe it is having the insulated wear so that there is minimum chance it will come in contact but still whenever we are working with the we should not to work because who are not a trained person, they should not to go near uh, to repair any electrical appliance. But still, whenever we are working with the electrical appliance, we must have to use uh, insulating shoes or we should not have to touch to the electrical switch with wet hand. Because uh, when our hand is wet, there is a chance that we will get a shock. And we should not have to touch the joint part because that is the point where it is not proper if it is not properly insulated will get the shock so whenever we are working with the electrical appliance we have to follow this safety rule so that we can protect ourselves from fatal shock so so here we got different safety devices and some safety rules how to deal with the electric current. So to get more videos of physics, just like my video, subscribe my channel, click on the bell icon to get the further notification and give your comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching my channel. Thank you very much.